Gun Rights Radio Network has the best pro-Second Amendment, pro-gun rights podcast available on the net. The podcasts are absolutely free when subscribing using iTunes or Zoom Marketplace. Or if you want, you can just listen from the website. Make sure you visit GunRightsRadio.com to subscribe. Podcasting freedom, one episode at a time. Okay, welcome back to Power Factor Show. I'm Steve. So today we're going to talk about ammo, ammo selection, and how it uh, scoring major minor perfa- pertains to um, to a target. So we've got a target here. So this is an IDPA target. Uh, IPSC target is very similar to this. Uh, the zones are called a little bit different things. An IDPA target, you have a down zero, and in IPSC that's called the A zone. Worth five points. Worth maximum. five points, maximum of five points. The next level down from that is a down one, and IPSC is a C zone, and we'll talk about what that uh, means in terms of scoring in a bit. And the next level down is a down three, which is in IPSC is a D zone. Now, the difference also up here in the head zone is that in IDPA, uh, if it's down zero, it's the same thing as this area here. In IPSC, you have a center area here, which is a A zone, and then outside of that is the B zone. Um, and the with, B zone scores the same as the C, C zone, zone, if right. you're not confused already. Right, right. So what all this means is that in terms of IPSC scoring and uh, power factor, we talked before about major minor in the last episode. Anything that's a center zone hit here on an IPSC target, and I'm going to talk about IPSC for a moment here just to make things more confusing. Anything here in the center area here in an IPSC target, whether you're shooting minor or major power factor, is considered five points. So IPSC scores things in terms of points. IDPA scores things in terms of time. Uh, IDPA, the down zero, basically means that no additional time is being added to your score. In IPSC, the next zone here is the C zone, or what would be the C zone. And a major power factor that's considered four points, and a min- minor power factor that's considered three points. You want to recapitulate on minor and major? So again, minor is well, major power factor is uh, typically forty caliber and above, and the power factor number is one sixty five. So again, one sixty five is the multiplication of your bullet weight times your velocity. So if you're shooting, let's say, a 165 grain bullet at 1,000 feet per second, that's 165. Uh, so this would be the C zone in an IPSC target. And the next zone here is the D zone. And in a IPSC uh, speak, the D zone is, what, two points uh, for major. major power factor and one point for minor power factor. Uh, and as Rick pointed out, the area up here in an IPSC target is uh, an A zone and a B zone. The outer area here being the B, so the B is scored the same as a C zone. So a major power factor hit would be uh, four points, and a minor would be three points. And so essentially, the point values are equivalent. It's five uh, for major power factor, five, four, and two points for those zones. In IDPA, you never have major power and minor power shooting against each other. In IPSC, USPSA, there's this kind of equivalency. Uh, where uh, the major power, it's uh, more powerful, more recoil, bigger bullet. Um, so it's, it's accorded more points in these zones. And so ammo selection within each division, to a certain extent, is dependent on how do you want to score, and it also affects capacity. And we'll get into that as we discuss the division by division. But just be aware as we discuss major and minor that in USPSA competition, Major and minor score different points or hits on these areas outside the center five-point zone. And unlike IDPA and IPSC, you actually can have major and minor uh, competing against each other in a given division. It's right. possible in open division that somebody may be running major and somebody else may be running minor, not too typical there. But it is very typical that you may see that in limited or limited 10 or single especially single-stack division. Yeah. Uh, again, and we talked... Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say before we talked that that production division is all scored minor regardless of what caliber you're shooting. Yeah, in single stack division in particular, unlike the other divisions, there's an intentional kind of handicapping based on power factor. If you're shooting major, you're limited to eight rounds capacity. Right. If you're shooting minor, you're allowed 10 rounds capacity. So even though each hit in the peripheral zones of the target are worth fewer points, you can sort of make up for it with your extra capacity, maybe saving a reload here and there. And so that's a, there's this uh, sense of 
you have to kind of pick your poison. Do you want to get the minor power scoring and get the extra rounds, or do you want to shoot major? Fewer rounds, but more points for your hits. And, and if, everybody is striving to get the vast majority of points, right. few people are willing to, to trade off those points for uh, capacity. Without diving too deep into that, though, it's an interesting discussion in that if you are very accurate intensive um, in your shooting center, um, the center of the target and, and hitting the A zone always, um, you may actually benefit from shooting minor because of the fact that you do pick up some capacity in the magazine. And again, it really depends on the stages and whatnot. But people have, have tried to play this game for a long time of trying to figure out, should I shoot minor or should I shoot major in single stack? And will the magazine capacity make a difference? And in some matches it will and in some matches it won't. So, yeah. However, yeah. I've yet to see anybody actually win single stack shooting minor. I think somebody finished in the top five oh, yeah, they'll, at yeah. nationals right. this year. Right. Which is sort of, <laughs> I don't think it's going to, create a wholesale switch to minor, um, but you always see this kind of fiddling where people are, are trying to, well, is that going to benefit me or not? And at the highest levels of competition, people are getting 95% of the available points right. shooting major. So it's, it's, uh, it's a difficult call of whether you should give up uh, the points to get a couple of extra rounds. So let's break it down by division. Um, we're going to we're actually going to break it down by caliber, right. but the idea behind each caliber selection is where does it fit in this uh, plethora of competitive divisions and gun types and whatnot across the different sports. Some calibers have risen to the top as being the most popular with good reason, some right. are more obscure, <clears throat> and we'll just kind of address that as we go. So again, as we discussed uh, a couple episodes ago, that in USPSA you have to be shooting uh, either 9mm or 38 Special and higher in terms of caliber to, um, to actually to make, be able minor. To, to make minor and or compete. So you can't be shooting, say, 380 auto or 32 ACP or, or 22 or anything like that in USPSA. Um, so that's kind of the beginning point that we're talking here or discussing this is really from a starting point, 9 millimeter or 38 special is, is the floor. Um, 38 special is typically used in revolvers, uh, obviously. Um, 9 millimeter is used throughout pretty much all of the divisions, um, some more than others. Uh, in production, typically everybody is shooting 9mm because everything is scored minor power factor, or minor scoring, I should say. So there's no point or benefit of shooting, let's say, 45 ACP in production. So you'll typically see there everybody is shooting 9mm. 9mm can also be shot in limited, in limited 10, scored minor. Uh, in single stack, scored minor again. Now, the difference, though, is in open division. Um, in open division, 9 millimeters becoming more of a, of a prevalent cartridge in open, uh, and they are able to score that as major power factor. That's the only division that you can actually score major power factor for 9 millimeters. So we're starting to see these days a lot more open guns chambered in 9 millimeter uh, in terms of what you're going to see out there. The next caliber, I would say, probably following up the caliber ladder, would be 38 Super or 38 Super Comp, which was previously the predominant chamber in, in the open division. Um, a lot of people were shooting that for quite some time uh, until the 9mm has kind of come on the scene in terms of open guns. And it's really until recently that they've actually figured out how to make a 9mm open gun run. It's not that easy. One of, one of the distinctions for years between USPSA and IPSC is that in IPSC competition, primarily in Europe, 9mm was making major all along. Right. In the United States, uh, the man power... Uh, powder and ammunition manufacturers voluntarily follow the rules of SAAMI, Sporting Sammy. Ammunition. Sporting and, Arms Ammunition, something or other, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and, and they have, uh, they publish in uh, limitations on pressure um, and dimensions and whatnot on all these cartridges, and SAAMI ruled that USPSA major power factor could not be met in the 9mm cartridge without exceeding their maximum pressure level. And since the Europeans uh, are not bound by that, they've been shooting what we call Major 9 uh, from the get-go. But in the United States, Major 9 was banned a number of years ago, and that brought on the popularity of the 38 Super and the rimless variant, the Super Comp, because Super you comp. could make Major uh, shooting a 9mm caliber bullet, but the larger, uh, longer cartridge case with larger capacity allowed you to safely make Major within the SAAMI pressure levels. Now with the development of new powders, and a few years ago, major power factor was reduced from 175 mm -hmm. to 165. So as the power factor came down, uh, modern powders 
kind of push that limit up that you could, uh, power that you could make uh, safely, Major 9 has now come back in as a popular round. And really, its popularity is based on inexpensive brass. Right. I mean, that seems to be right. the sole driving uh, feature behind the, the move from 38 Super to 9 millimeters. That 38 Super is kind of a specialized cartridge. You really only find it in competition. Uh, but 9 millimeter, you find it laying on the ground at most shooting ranges. And so uh, Major 9 has become very popular in, uh, in USPSA open competition. So